Okay, so um, the only reason, well the only real reason why I'm actually recording this video today is because I was just playing with makeup as you can tell and I feel like this is quite a decent makeup look and I didn't want to waste it. Like I barely ever put makeup on for these videos, well I never put makeup on specifically for videos but <clears throat> sometimes it just happened to record videos whilst I'm wearing makeup and yeah. Anyway, basically I think I look quite decent so <laughs> um, I thought I'd record a video and I was just thinking of what kind of video to record and I thought well my last story time video has got a better reception in the past however many hours that it's been up than any of my other videos have so I thought I'd tell you another story so you will see by the title of this video that this is about my ex um, <clears throat> You haven't seen him actually in any of my videos, I don't think. But the last video I was talking about boys, it's called Rant 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 Boys or something like that, uh, where I was just like, I know who I want to marry and all this, this was him. And though I still agree with what I said, uh, I need to tell you, I need to call him out basically because I, I'm still pissed about the situation. Okay, basically, so me and this ex had been split up since end of February, beginning of March of this year. So not an amazingly long time, let's be fair. Um, but basically he'd moved on and he'd got a, another girlfriend. Um, I, I'm guessing they've been together about two months-ish maybe. I'm not one, no, actually, they've been together just recently about four months, I think. Um, Cause I remember seeing an anniversary thing somewhere. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they've only been together like four months now. But anyway, this happened a couple of weeks ago. Basically, if you know me, you'll know that I hate like losing contact with people, even if we've fallen out. Unless I hate you, there's only a few people on my hate list, but if I hate you, then you know, you can fuck off. I really don't care to keep in contact with you. Um, but, but yeah, so I really hate, like I say, if you know me, you'll know I really hate losing contact with people. Um, especially obviously if we haven't had you know that kind of relationship where we're kind of at each other all the time so every once in a while I like to rekindle a friendship with my exes <laughs> I don't know why I do that but I do um, so I was talking to him on Skype actually and what had happened was he'd made a new Skype we're gonna call him Barry no we're not because my accent sounds weird what we're gonna call him is we're gonna call him I've got so many male friends and I can't even think of a male name. Give me one minute. We're going to call him Fred. He's got the same name as somebody in my other video, but we're going to call him Fred. Fred and Bob are going to be my two like go-to names, so Fred. That's what we're going to call him. Anyway, so Fred. He'd um, made a new... Um, he'd made a new Skype. That's what it is, because I had him on Skype still, um, and I had him on Kick. Um, but he'd made a new Skype and he'd made like a group message thing and sent it to all of his contacts and gone, well, this is my new Skype, whatever. I'm pretty sure I sent it to all of his contacts anyway. So I was just like, right, am I actually okay to add that? Because like, obviously we weren't exactly best of friends and he was like, if you really want to, you can. And I was like, okay, cool. So I added it and we were just talking like a normal conversation. And then I was like, well, if you want to keep talking, can I message you on Kick? Because, like, I'm not always on Skype. So, we started talking on Kick. And we were just talking about, basically, my failed love life. <laughs> my failed experiences and everything since me and him split up. And I was just like, as much as my life's a bit shit at the moment, I'm glad you're happy. Because, if you know me, you'll know that I've just always wanted everybody to be happy. This eye is watering. Um... But if you know me, you'll know that all I've ever wanted for my friends and exes, unless your name's Ian, is um, happiness, basically. So I was just like, like, I am sincerely glad that you're happy. And he's like, I'm not fully happy. And then he went on to explain that him and his... I'm going to have to wipe my eye, I'm sorry. But he went on to explain that him and his girlfriend... Um, no, he sorry. He went on to explain that... Um, he didn't actually love his girlfriend how she thought he did at the time like he was just like I do love her but like I only love her as a friend 
because basically they were best friends before they got together. Um, honestly, they, uh, she is the reason that me and him split up, like the final reason why we split up. But anyway, so he was just like, I only love her as a friend. I don't know how to break it to her. And I was like, well, if you want my advice, like if you want advice from a woman, then you've just got to tell her, do you know what I mean? You've just got to tell her how it is. She'll understand. If she loves you, she will understand completely. She will be her, and I warned him that she probably won't even speak to him for ages, and she will be her and everything. But he's got to tell her. And then he was just like, there's one other thing, though, and I was just like, okay, what is it? And he's like, it's a bit personal. And I was like, well, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine. You don't have to. But, you know, I'm always here. And he's like, well, I trust you more than anybody, so I'll tell you. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, I miss you. And I was like, well, I miss you too. Because, like, I miss... Obviously, I miss him. Do you know what I mean? Like, I loved him, but... And he's just like, no, I mean, like, I miss being with you. And I was just like, Ugh. like, being the person that I want to marry, I wanted to hear that so badly. But so I kind of, if you know me, you'll know I fall really easy. This is going to be a very long one, by the way. But if you know me, you'll know I fall really easily for people, which is a big downfall of mine. Um, but so he was just like, I miss you. I like I want you to be the person that I date. I want you to be the person I marry. If you ever get pregnant by me, I'll move to Sheffield because he lives in Liverpool, um, and all this. And I was just like, like you've got a kid over there. Do you know what I mean? Like I couldn't do that to you. We were just having this discussion. And I was just like, look, I love you too. You know full well that I love you, um, and that you are the person I want to marry. And all this, you'll know that if you see my other video, but. And I was just like, but, okay, this is where it gets down to a weird bit. I was just like, I don't please you like you would like me to um, because he's into some stuff that I'm not into sexually. And I'm just like, I can't make myself into those things. So I can't please you the way that you need to be pleased. Um, and then he's just like, no, it's fine. You're the best I've ever had in all this. And I'm just like, right. So uh, we started Skyping again because um, we used to Skype constantly, we Skype every day, um, and we were talking non-stop, and his mum was just like, oh, you're Dr. Kayleigh, I like her, eh? <laughs> she called me pretty, and I was like, oh, <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, so we were Skyping, like, it was like, it was back to how it was when we were dating, and that was like the nicest feeling for me, um, in the middle of a Skype conversation, we must be Skyping like three days or something in a row, he was just like, Oh, I've got a phone call and it was his girlfriend. We're gonna call her Frida. So Frida called him and Frida was just like, I need you to open up about all these things, whatever. And Fred was like, Oh, Fred and Frida, I didn't realise. And Fred was just like, I can't and you know that because if you know Fred, you'll know that he's not like he's not good with being open with his feelings. He can eventually, but like he's just not a feelings kind of person. And I always understood that. Um and she was just like, well, I can't be with you if you can't be open about things. And then he was just like, okay. And then she was just like, it's over. So they split up. And then everything was fine. And then the next day, we were just like, talk about getting together. And then the day after that, he sent me a text saying, oh, I won't be on Skype tonight because um, I'm at Frida's. Uh, because basically, um, it's a long story, but basically he couldn't go back to his house that night. And I was like, okay, but you have to tell her how you feel. Um, and then he was just like, eh, I can't. Eh. Actually, I've got this wrong way, sorry. The the incident where he couldn't go home happened before the breaking up. So then they broke up after that, sorry. And then um, the next day, everything was fine. And the day after that, uh, I was like, I texted him in the morning and I didn't get a text back um I messaged him on Facebook and I didn't get a message back and I was like okay so I called him this isn't like all in like three seconds like throughout an entire day I called him twice I think and then I actually got because I was like being ignored and I felt I was like really confused as to why I was being ignored because I'd done nothing wrong um so then I got my friend to um call him on her number so obviously he'd pick up and he picked up basically straight away and then she was just like hi it's Kaylee's friend like why are you ignoring her and then he was just like oh I've been busy and then he hung up and we were just like okay and then I got a text from him a little bit later saying the reason I've been ignoring you is because I'm at Frida's and I was like okay why are you there and then he's just like because we're talking about getting back together and I'm like bishwet 
I'm like, excuse me. I like harassed him. I didn't harass him, but I sent him like, it wasn't even a long text. It was just an angry one. I sent him an angry text like, next time don't play me. Like, tell me how it is. Don't be a dickhead about things basically. Because I was like getting my hopes up. Like we were going to be a happy family <laughs> like we were before. And then he was just like, lol, no. But now they're back together. They're in a happy, happy relationship. He doesn't love her. But anyway, so me being the diva bitch homewrecker that I am, you will know when I have been played, I like to kill people. No, I'm joking. I've never killed anybody. But you will know, if you know me, you'll know that once I have been played, the anger, seriously, you don't even understand the anger. Unless you know me personally, you do not understand. So, what I did was, being the sneaky little snake that I am, sometimes, only sometimes, I um, screenshotted all the messages that I'd received from him about wanting to marry me, not loving his girlfriend and all this. And I was just like, okay, okay, I'm going to send this to Frida. Um, and then I'm just going to be like wrecking bitches' lives. But then what actually happened was I sent it to her through my friend's account. He knew that I used his account and he gave information. And I acted like it was him rather than me. But I mentioned me in it. Um, so I sent it. There's like 11 screenshots or something. Literally saved in its own folder on the laptop called Revenge. <laughs> Literally. But anyway. So I sent them to her. Um, and the reality of this home wrecking thing that I tried to do was. They're still together. And she hasn't even seen the pictures. Because they must have gone into her other's box on Facebook. So she's not seen them yet if i get a bit mad one day i'm considering sending them to her on oh i don't know that was in october but i'm considering like texting them to her or emailing them or something where she will definitely receive them because i'm a home wrecker kaylee's a home wrecker <laughs> no it's seriously though i just kind of feel like if something what happened if someone's gonna play me, you gotta get played like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't sit here and just be like, oh, you've played me, that's fine, enjoy your life. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm gonna be sneaky one day and I'm gonna ruin her life. I don't like her anyway because she's the reason we split up. But that was very petty. And it, I am very petty, I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm going to get lots of comments saying you're very petty, Kaylee, and I'm going to go, yes, honey, I am. I am very petty. And I'm sorry that I've been looking here rather than here. Um, it's because I like my makeup. Oh, I like it a lot. Anyway, so yeah, that's my home wrecking, well, failed home wrecking experience. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to call this yet, but... Just know that when I recorded this video, it was like midnight. Over past midnight, actually. Let me see what time it is. Oh, it's 2 a.m. I should probably go to bed. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. If you did, and if you didn't, you won't see this. So, anyway, good night, sweet dreams, farewell, have a good day, morning, evening, whatever time of the day it is when you watch this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.